But yeah, I'm trying to see. Bitch. Girl, you see how that shit turned my son? Low network. Oh, connection available. Is it on? Hold on. Let me. Oh, I think it's on. Is it on, honey? Is it on? Is this bitch recording? Who wants up in YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Ron the Scruff, BGC Jet, Facebook Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches, Christian Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, honey, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always, and forever, in color, honey, from the car. Girl, we having our morning car chats, girl. We a little late, girl. But before we start off on our morning car chats, Chi Chi, you know, let me wipe the lens off so that the children, you ain't got no little tissue, no, no tissue paper. You ain't got no tissue paper. Let me wipe off the lens. The people need to see. Let me wipe the lens off. Ooh, you see that perfect look? It was a perfect illusion. Mistaken for love. Girl, well, let's just start our car chat off with what we got to say. <laughs> oh wait give me some tissue girl because this gonna really make me start crying <laughs> i'm finna really start crying now uh you need some. You need me to wipe your tears too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wait, it's hot. Whew. Ooh, girls, a little hot. Wait a minute. Wait one more time, Chi Chi. We crying. We crying. We crying. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my dear god. <laughs> 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 oh shit, girl. Oh, oh my god. Corey! <laughs> Please! Oh my god. Girl, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh shit, Lord. Oh my dear God. Give it honor to God. <laughs> Miss Mary, hey girl. Hey, Auntie. Oh my God. Give it a uh, what's up, Hope? Hope, you know what? You speak some truth out there. Hope. Y'all need to be following Hope Giselle. Hope Giselle speaks the truth. And she is a perfect. She can analyze the situation, bitch, without even knowing anything. Yo, yeah, come on, Hope. Wait a minute. Oh, Chi Chi girl. Oh, I needed it. Now, if I ain't never cried by anything, <laughs> bitch, that shit was funny to me. It was. My God today. Oh. All right. So let's move on. So, all right, come on, Chi. Let's go get something to eat, girl. I'm mm -hmm. going to get our we're going to get our feet done, our hands done, girl, honey. You know, it's doing the things. Girl. It's doing the stuff, honey. Doing the girls, doing what doing what miserable miserable girls do. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Oh dear God in heaven, child. Oh, help me, God. Um. So I did. <laughs> I just want to talk about something that's been, you know, on my situation that I've been watching. That, you know, because I, I ain't been watching really nothing too much else except what's going on in um, real news. And um, I want to talk about this Dwayne Wade situation with his with his daughter slash slash daughter and Gabrielle Union and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about this. And I also want to talk about Wendy, Wendell, Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus Clyde, Theotis, Pookie, Eldover, Jame and the Giant Peach, Hezekiah Walker-Williams. I want to talk about her too. You feel me? I want to talk about all of that. You know, right before, because today's what? Saturday? Yeah. Today's Saturday. Oh, first of all, how was y'all Valentine? How was y'all Valentine, bitches? Bitch! Now listen, y'all may experience a little disconnection Issue right here, cause you know I'm out here in the woods in the back. You know where the real cheap houses are, right? In the bushes where the real cheap houses are. You know a lot of people move to Georgia, bitch, and they can't get no house, even though it's real cheap here. So if you really were looking for a real affordable place where you move to Georgia, come out to the cheap, cheap parts mm -hmm. where the bushes be at, honey. 
where it's real cheap at. So I'm out here and all of that stuff. So you may get connectivity issues and stuff like that. Connections may go to, you know, carry it on because I am out here in the in the discreet areas of the of, of Atlanta, bitch. So therefore, you may we may have some experiences. But if you do, know that this is being recorded to Facebook first, and then it will be downloaded and then uploaded again. YouTube. To YouTube, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube, my YouTube channel, and when you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that button at the top, get the bell, so that you can get the. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. What, what you, yeah, I know we're cutting out, but it's just, just stay tuned, just stay here. You know what, Chi I think I got something at the UPS store um, that I need to pick. I think because I got an email last night, I think I got something from the UPS I'm store. I might go just run there and see. But I do want to talk about this um Dwayne Wade thing and his daughter and Miss Wendy Williams. Okay, for me, I don't know if you guys watched last week's episode or whatever week. What was that week I was talking about children trans trans? Who was I talking about that with? Oh, Jada and um Brandon. And Brayden, Brandon, Brandon, when we was talking about it on a spotlight session, you know. So I want to I want to uh talk about this really quick about the way I feel about trans transitioning as a child. I would like to speak about that because I think it's very important, you know, for people to hear from a perspective of other trans of other trans people. Let me put my seatbelt on too. Also, before I get into that, I want to talk about Valentine's Day really quick. Um really fast because uh it was Valentine's Day last night and and <laughs> whatever. And uh uh, Chi Chi got to get out of the car and you got to get back in or whatever. But I want to talk about it before, you know. Well, anyway, so let me just jump in. How was Valentine's Day for everybody? Eric, I hope you said it was the ghetto Valentine's Day. Okay, all right. So, all right. For me, Valentine's Day was just what it was. You know, this is a part of my life where I have chosen that I, I'm really not, as, as much as I get approached by men, written, written by men, uh, advanced by men on, on all times. I have chosen this time of my life to be very much so focused on my career and focused on, you know, a productivity in my life. I've been, I've, I've decided to push love to the side and this is by choice. This is not by something that, that, that uh, you may have heard. This is by choice. Mm -hmm. I've chosen that I, I do not want to be asphyxiated on love. I do not want to be uh, uh, asphyxiated on trying to be in a relationship and in, in, in any in any emotional space right now when I'm not in a place where I want to be. Now sometimes people will say like, okay, well, why don't you why don't you grow with somebody? If you look at relationships, whether they're whether they're whether they're business <laughs> or whether they're pleasurable, relationships tend to they, they start out good. They always start out good. They have their rocky situations. And then they, 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 they go, they, they go their separate, their separate, separate ways. For me in my love life area and perspective of the situation, I, I don't have any interest in, I don't have any interest in being involved with somebody in that space. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to be. First of all, I don't really trust men like that. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a uh, truster of dudes or whatever. You know, especially because I was on the other side. I tell y'all this stuff all the time. I was on the other side of the veil when it came, when it comes to, you know, seeing the, the what the real man is and how the real man, what you know, the the real man presents himself just like anybody that comes into your life. They present themselves as. Uh, what they want you to see, what they want you to fall in love with, what they want you to, you know, what they want you to, you know, like and absorb. And then you truly find out who they are as time progresses over. Sometimes it's a good thing. And then other times it could be, it could be awful. There's always good times in relationships and there's bad times in relationships or whatever, but it's just that it's y'all relationship. So for me, being that I was an ex, I, which I'm candidly, I candidly talk about, I have no shame in it. I'm not, um, because that's not where I'm at now. And that's not holding me prisoner to anything that I want in life because any and everything that I want in life, I'm going after it and I am achieving it. 
Let me back that up again. That has not held me a prisoner to anything because I won't allow it to hold me a prisoner to anything. And any and everything that I want in life, I am going after it and achieving it. Everything else is abstract to me. That shit is the, that, that, and none of that shit is concrete to me because I won't allow that stuff to settle in my spirit to have me where I'm where I can't, you know, achieve the things that I want. And, you know, so I talk about it candidly. Go ahead, Chi Chi, and come on back and see what they got. And I candidly speak about that. Now, at the end of the day, when it comes down to that love stuff, I know men come in your life and they, they you meet the nice man of your dreams. He brings you flowers, chocolate candy. You know, Shante Moore said, I took him home to meet his mama and he loves me. Oh. Uh, and then next week they singing about, you know, how could an angel break my heart? All of this stuff right now is, all of this stuff right now is something that I'm really not interested in being a part of. Like, I don't want to be emotionally invested in any situations with men at this moment. I don't want to be emotionally, emotionally invested in that. I'm not. I want to make sure that I am in a space where, and I, and this is the way I live my life. And this, this, this probably goes all the way across the board. I want to be in a space, which I'm kind of am, where if anybody walks out of my life, the structure does not fall. And a lot of times, a lot of people can't get, get in a space, uh, where, because they think they need, like, I need, a, like, like another human being as a question. Or like, I got to be in a relationship. I got to be with a man. I got to be, I just get, and this is what it needs to be. This and anybody that walks out of, out of, out of my love life or my personal life, the structure does not, the, is, it, the, it still remains solid because the, the solidness works in me. So I have just decided that this is not something that I don't want to be involved with. I don't want to put my emotions. And this is why maybe, maybe, hear me out. This is maybe why I, my emotions, I'm not an emotional person when it comes down to, you know, giving my heart and soul or whatever to another individual because this is where this is for me and um, and this might be bad and i'm not trying to say whatever this might be bad where it's it's a that's a that's a, that's a form that's a vulnerability or that's it's very it's a it's a way of weakness like a, like weak weakness because see i always everybody look for all the great stuff everybody wanted the great everybody but you got to understand that in, in any relationship the bad will transpire. The bad will transpire in any relationship. Relationship, friendship, business shifts, things will happen that will, but you have to be solid. You have to be solid. And for me, I know that when I get emotionally involved in something, when I get emotionally, deeply involved, involved in something with a man that I love, that I'm dating, that I'm having sexual intercourse with, that I'm sharing liquids and fluids and stuff like that. That I that I that I I, I know that I become emotionally vul vulnerable. I do. And I ain't I'm 42 years old. I'll be 43 this year and I'm not ashamed to say that I become extremely vulnerable in those places and I don't want to be in those spaces. I don't want to do it because one, I don't, I don't, I'm not submissive until I need to be submissive. I'm not going to submit until I, until there's a, a time for me to submit to that. But I feel like in the bedroom, that's a time for me to, you know, submit or whatever. And then, you know, in a, in a form of submission, you start, you start exhaling. <sighs> and in that moment of exhale, honey, that's when a bitch can put a pillow over your face and smother the shit out of you. You know, because you just never know. You you, ne you never know. Sometimes people are attracted to people because of the way they look, because of the way they smell, because of the way, you know. Everybody, everybody has the desire to know what somebody looks like under their clothes when they first meet them. 
I mean, if they are, if they, if they find them attractive, if they, if it's somebody that they find like what they want to be like, oh, oh, I want to date him. You over there looking like, damn, I want this that dick big. Oh, is that dick big? Oh, is that? Oh, I want is that ass? Oh, I want. Oh, oh, what his toes look like? Oh, what do his toes? Damn, he got nice teeth. Damn, do he? Can he? I mean, what's up with it? So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just telling the truth. I'm, I'm telling the truth. I'm just being truthful about the situation with that. Okay, fine. I ain't want, I don't really want to be in no, in no, in no, in no relationship where I have to answer. I don't want to have to answer to anybody. Like, I don't want to have to be over there. Man, where you at? Working. Bitch, I'm working right now. I'm working right now. I'm setting my foundation together right now. I'm making sure that my foundation is solid so that when I'm, because I'm, listen, I said this, 43. I'll be 43 this year. Do you know how close to 50 that's coming? Seven years. I remember when I was saying I was 23 and I was 30 and, and five minutes later. I remember I was saying I was 33 and bitch, I was 40 five minutes later. Do you know how quick that, so I want to make sure that my foundation is stuff is stable that while I'm here on earth that, you know, I'm at, that there's, there's, am I missing out on love and affection? No. Mm -mm. I don't think so because you, the love and affection have to start within. It's, it has to start with 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 yourself. Like you gotta have love and affection. You have to love and affectionate yourself first, and that way you can. That's 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 how you that's how you can be solid without somebody. You know. That's you know. Now sex is a different story because there's a big difference between lust and love. There's a big difference between lust and love, honey. I lust all the goddamn time. Like, ooh, I want to, ooh, baby. Ooh, and sometimes we get those emotions confused with, ooh, I just love him the way he be fucking me. Ooh, ooh, that did so good. But is he a good man? That's a good man for me. Is he a good man? Yeah. Ooh, that head so good. But is she a good woman? Oh, that pussy so tight. But can she fry your eggs in the morning? Right. Can she take care of your children? Can she, you get what I'm saying? And then a lot of people get locked into situations, get locked into love and locked into spaces that based off of lust. Have I been in relationships based off of lust? Yes. Yes. Be in relationships being in relationship, relationship, being in relationship based off of lust is a toxic situation. It's a toxic situation. I've had some of the best sex in the world with 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 men, and then personally, like, girl, what are you, sir? What are you talking about, <laughs> sir? What are you? What, wait a minute. What? Wait. How do you feel about? Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, give me some sugar. Ooh, I, I, and we back in the bed again. Wait, this is the way you feel about black people's lives? Wait, okay, hold on. So you fucking me. I'm just I'm just speaking out of term here. So me and you having sex, but this how you feel about gays? Like what are you talking about? Why are you what's wrong? You're gay. <laughs> hey. What wait, hold up, hold wait a minute. You know, all this kind of shit be going on. And this is why I've chosen to be like, mm -mm, you know, ma'am, next time I get into a love situation, you know, I don't know when that's going to be. I'm really, I really not, I really don't give a fuck if you want me to be totally honest with you. You know, I just want my dream, like the dreams that I have for myself that are manifesting. I just want to work on my dreams and I want to work on, on that. I just want to be, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I don't want people to think that I'm hurt or scarred. Because I've been in the adult entertainment industry, I just know the ins and out of men, ins and outs of men. I just know them. Because the man that, that that some of you are married to, you might don't really know. You don't know the dark side. I met with that dark side when I was in the business. I was met with that dark side of that man. Man, I want to fuck that ass. Let me fuck that ass. He meeting you like that. He trying to take you to dinner and bring you flowers and meet your mom and them. And he want to fuck that ass. No, most definitely want to fuck that. He ass. want to fuck that ass. He want you to suck that dick. He want that. Mm -hmm. He want. 
Uh, Joe Black, uh-uh. Don't come here with that. I don't give a fuck about that stuff. Don't come here with that, uh-uh. No, Joe Black, don't do that. I'm not interested in any of that stuff. Listen, let me tell you something. My, my responsibility to the public is giving them what I motherfucking do every day, which is my car chats, my bitch less dish, Queen my Queen Court. Supreme Court, Behind the my Beyond the Bench, Beyond the my, and, and, and that's it. I, my, my Chronicles, I don't give a fuck about anything else that ain't, I ain't bring, if, that's, if that's what I bring to the public, that's what you get. Anything else, you don't get it. That ain't, that ain't for you. I don't give a fuck who brought that. Who brought anything to the public about me? That ain't for you. My relationship to the public is this right here. What I'm doing, talking to you about what I want to talk to you about. Other than that, I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Here he is. Boom. That's my statement. Go back. I don't give a fuck about none of that other stuff. That don't got shit to do with me. And we're back. Boom. Now, like I was saying, I met that dark man. Like the dark, the the dark, the dark man. Here go my integrity right here, baby girl. Integrity is if you have an issue with somebody, is if you got an issue, you don't make you don't put the public as a judge and jury because that don't got nothing to do with you know that doesn't have anything to do with the public. You don't put the public involved in that. Boom. Bye, Joe. See you later, babe. All right. Anyway, I like to go back and talk about what I was saying. Like I meet the man that. I meet the man that, that y'all may not meet. You get what I'm saying? I meet that person, and, and here it is. I want to fuck. Let me suck the dick. Let me do this and the other. And then you have then you have the guy that want to take you to dinner. He want to he wanna romance. He, want, he wants to give you the romance. He really wants to give you that dirty shit that he's giving, that he's talking to me about. He wants to give you that. But he ain't going to get that to you because that's not really, you know, he don't want, he don't really want you to feel some kind of way about him. And a lot of times I've been in a situation as I've been, I, I think I've been on the other side of the, of the, of the, of the coin. I was dealing with a guy. I wasn't having sex with him because he was, he was trying to get to know me. And we had a conversation the other day. He was trying to get to know me. This was years ago, years, years, years. He was trying to get to know me. And in, in, the, in, the, in the process of him trying to get to know me, he was coming to my house. We were going to the movies. We was chilling. We was kicking it. But after he left the house and we done chilled or whatever, we didn't have sex or any of that stuff. He was down the street fucking hoes I don't even fuck with. So when all the shit hit the fan and we started communicating about it. He said to me, oh, I was, I don't like them hoes. I just, they were sucking my dick and fucking, I really wanted to be with you. And I was like, well, wait, okay. Uh, this is what's crazy to me. <laughs> uh, this is the shit that really sent me into a, sp um, a space. So why would you fuck people that, or go around fucking with bitches that you know that I don't really fuck with? And what is, I don't get it. You're the enemy. Mm -hmm. How you gonna be somebody? I said that's my husband, the air hole on the on the corner. Talking about, I look, he got it. Oh, girl, he got a bit. Yes, he has a large penis. He did have a large penis, but what he was saying, I was saving, I was saving this because I love you. I wanted to be in love with you, and I said, but you wanted to be in lust with them. I don't get it. I'm I'm so confused. Confused. I'm I'm so. I'm so confused. <laughs> Kima, I just got rid of somebody else. Don't do that. Don't do that, Kima. You see what we talking about? This is what we talking about. Don't do that. Kima, you got one more time. You're gone. But it confused me to the point that I just was like, this shit is crazy. Like, y'all men are mental. Y'all men are mental. And somebody had a conversation with me. And told me this right here. And I said, and I saw it from a whole different perspective when they said this to me. They said to me, Madison, don't you know that you that this man is really not a part of the world that you are in? You're a trans woman, you're under the LBGT umbrella. This man does not identify. This man does not identify these things. He does not identify as all this stuff. He don't identify with what the, the thing that you identify is. So 
you, he's a stranger in your world, just like you are in his. I was like, oh. All these years, it just happened. <gasps> you know what? It was gagged. It wasn't that I was gagged. It was just I had to see it from that perspective. I was like, oh. Boom. Boom. I get it. I get it. I get it. And it just made me start. I don't have a bitter situation towards me. And I just understand what it is. You feel me? And when the time comes for me to maybe let my guard down or maybe let my situation down and start, you know, or maybe, you know, dab dibble and dabble and stuff that comes down with data. I might. I don't know. Who, who's to say? I may. So until then, Valentine's Day just is a nice day. Now, I gave my baby David some um some gift for his Valentine's Day. He's hanging up on his wall. I bought it for him for Christmas, but he opened around this time. It was Valentine's Day. So I gave him some, a gift, and, you know, I love him. I just feel like me and David got a real deep spiritual connect. What is that? It's loaded in there. It's trying to sort it Girl, let's go get something to eat in her bag. Oh, man. Girl, that shit loaded in there. I should have did this the other day. Bitch, I should have too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should have too. Girl, so. Unless you want to try the one down there? No, I like that way they oh. do my nails, girl. I don't be liking everybody doing my nails, girl. I be like, mm -mm. so let's move on from Valentine's Day. Now let's move on to this Dwayne Wade situation with his um with his daughter and Gabrielle Union and all this type of stuff. Let me tell y'all something. I'm so sick of this shit about agenda. The, the gay agenda, how we trying to push this and the, and the other. I'm so I'm so tired of stuff like that. I'm I'm so sick of shit like this. Like, girl, what agenda it is? What is somebody else's identity becoming agenda an, 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 an agenda for the for the public? My thing is, what is somebody else's agenda got the fuck to do with you? Mind your business. What? I talked about this the other day on my live when I was on live on Insta. I mean, when I was on live on YouTube, like y'all got to mind y'all business. That's why hoes get punched in their mouth because they don't mind their motherfucking business. Right, bitch. I mean, I don't got nothing to do with it. If this boy want to be, a, if this if this girl wants to be a girl, let her be a girl. Now. I do get something. Um, let me play devil's advocate here. There you go. Go ahead. Here it is. Let me let me let me let me play devil's advocate here in this in this in this space. The child is still a child. Right. Now I do. Okay. I do in a way. In a way. I'm not for the, you know, giving children hormone blockers. Well, then say he did all that. I'm not giving. I'm not. I. I'm this. This. This is the way I feel. Because I, I just feel like, as a child, you, you, as even as an adult, you go through identity crisis at times. But listen, my thing is because I watched the video with Dwayne Wade and his and Zaya in the uh, on the golf course. They probably was making when you. Because when I was young, the people always made fun of me because I was feminine. You get what I'm saying? So it's not probably at the household. It's probably at school that when she, when she go to school, they make fun of her at school. She knows she know that she's different. She knows that she don't act like the other people were at school. You get what I'm saying? This is the same thing that happened to me. When I was younger, I knew that I was different. At a younger age, I knew. At four, I knew what was going on with me. I knew that I was, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. And people that was around me used to, you know, make fun of me. Then when I got to school, they made fun of me too. They made fun of me as well at school. So you never really had nobody to confide in. So like I said, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. I think that I think that he's by him, by the way way standing in the forefront behind Zaya in the Zaya decision, she already know what she feels on the inside. Can't nobody never tell you the way you feel on the inside. You get what I'm saying? Even when you was going through what you going through, but you was Yeah, but like I said on the spotlight on the spotlight session the, the what made me have a connection everybody has some something that's that's maybe a connection point mm -hmm. in 1992 <laughs> I was introduced to RuPaul mm -hmm. but what really was the connection connection for me was when I watched the crying game mm -hmm. and I saw that queen I was like oh my god this is it Maybe she saw a movie that maybe like so her. it could, could be too. you know just like there's a girl out there named Jazz Jennings mm -hmm. 
that she was young. So, and Jada broke it down for me. When Jada and um, Brandon was on my mm -hmm. show, she broke it down for me. And it's like, this is why I like having conversations with people. Because mm -hmm. it, it it breaks it down where you can understand like, oh, okay, I get it. For her, it was a the, the movie she saw called A Girl Like Me. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was A Crying Game. Mm -hmm. For Flame, which, which, which definitely... You know, breaks Flame's identity down. She had to see the guy on um, All in the Family, mm -hmm. and she said she knew then. She said she she went in the room. She started crying. She knew it. She saw what was the name of the person that was on All in the Family. That was the drag queen on there, and she said she saw her, and she said that was it. That was the identity moment for her. Mm -hmm. So everybody got an identity moment, and and mm -hmm. and, and maybe Jazz them is an identity moment for. For, for Zaya. So I don't know. But me, when it comes down to children, mm -hmm. children, hormone blockers, hormones, you know, stuff, I feel I'm really, I, re, I really feel, I really be in, the, in, a, in a cringy place. I, I was in a, I be in a cringe place. I be in a space where I, I, my God. Oh my God! You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. don't talk to me about that because I may say some shit that I don't want to. I, I mean, I, I might not be politically correct about because I didn't start transitioning until I was in my teen. I just feel like the children should get down to the teen, to the teen. She's twelve. She's almost thirteen. So when her, well, I mean, like, like further than that, Chi Chi. <laughs> that's I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I told that's you just the way I feel. I understand, but like I said. Sometimes you know what you know when you know. Yeah, uh, you always know, but you don't know what it. You know, mm -hmm. but you still confused on what it is. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Well, she probably watched something that inspired her to say, "You know what, Dad? This is what I want to do." And then I seen the post that her brother, her big brother, you know, he was like, "No matter what, no matter what it is, I'm gonna always be here to protect you." And I was like, the, the reason what made me like really talk about the story because I was like, you need more people like that. Because like I said, most people in the black community, especially in the black gay community, they'll throw you away and won't give no fucks about you. Yeah, you're right. You are correct about that. And so by by him standing behind her 110%, that's good because we need, it might be more kids that look up to Zaya and want to be just like Zaya and they don't know how to tell their parents. You get what I'm saying? Because when you're a kid, you hear your mama or your auntie number in there, ooh. Yeah, you hear, yes. And this is why, this is Ooh. why, this is, and I do think that we are a definite part of the, of the contribution to homophobia, mm -hmm. transphobia. Right. We're problematic to ourselves because we sit around and we sit around, a, well, blacks, I'm talking about black people. I, listen, and I, I'm only talking about from a black experience because I'm African American. I don't know nothing about <laughs> nothing else. I don't know nothing about nothing else like that. And that's not, and I'm not, I'm talking about from my black experience. And then y'all don't do this, okay? <laughs> Them aunties be sitting around, girl, you girl, you heard about such and such? He gay. Girl, we ain't got, girl, that's he a fag. You know? My auntie. Oh, that's, oh, now, now one of my sons been to be like that because I'm going to beat his ass. My auntie. You know, then you got that little boy or that little girl hearing these right. conversations at the cookout, at the dinner. Who's struggling on the inside? Who's who's in the who's in their inside of themselves? Like, oh my God, I have no refuge. Oh my God, I have no place to go. I have no. They take you to church. The pastor, the pastor, stand up there in front. All the gays is going there. I'm so sick of sisters. Sisters, sisters, sisters. I'm just so sick of these sisters. Can't go to bed no Where the hell can you go? Where the hell can you go? Because it's upsetting me <laughs> and my homegirl. <laughs> So, I mean, I because I was, I've been a victim of that. So, that's why I said when I was younger, I had to live in my truth. And the only person that ever stood in my corner, even even though my grandma ain't really, you know, like, a, you know, like, you know, but she was always behind me. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I say you have to... I love Zaya that she just said, you know what, Dad, this is what I want to do. Because if you listen, if you watch the video of them after they went to play golf, I think that she was going through this in school. I think people was making fun of her in school and, you know, calling her all type of names or whatever, whatever. Because when I was in school, they, they used to tear me up. 
always to me up. But this is why you always fight. This is why I was a fighter. This is why you was a fighter. We yeah. from Miami, girl. That may not mean nothing to nobody else, <laughs> to no bitch ass motherfucker. But we from Miami. So, that don't mean, bitch, that we we we, we motherfucking is the baddest bitch walking. What that means is, bitch, that we bout that life. Yeah. Whether we got the windmill stab, put it back to you. Respect that, get that little plastic bag. Whether we got to do whatever we got to do. Whether we, if you a bear, we got the, if we got the bear mace you. Because I just picked this up. If we got the bear mace you, whatever, bitch, we bout that life. Because we don't, we've, we've been trained that we have to battle. Because we have, we, bitch. I tell people this all the time. That I, we didn't have that that ballroom stuff. I don't know nothing about I that ballroom stuff. That, that I that's I, I'm from Miami. We ain't had that shit like that down there. We went to pageants. Mm -hmm. We went to pageants and and we've had now, now, now drag pageants and drag shows and shit like that. Yeah, we yeah. that's that's the thing because from in Florida. But balls, I don't know nothing about. I just, I'm just introduced to that. I'm like, oh, okay. Right. Oh, okay, this is a whole different set of culture. This is not a part of the culture that, you know, I know, but all right, cool. Well, it's what it is, but I don't have, I, that ain't, that's not my story. So sometimes, you know, I mean, I, I like it, but like you say, I think, you say you think that she's too young to, you know. No, I said, I didn't say I think that oh, she was you too said, young. What I'm saying is, you don't. It's, the, it's the hormone blockers. Yeah. But I don't think that, uh, me personally, I think that they ain't going to do her like that until she get, like, maybe, like, 15, maybe, you know. Yeah, it's the hormone so blockers. It's the it's now. the giving hormone. It's the stuff. And what if you, what if one day down the line, you get in a, like, it's because the the the, the, the transition starts here, girl. Mm -hmm. Transition starts here first. Then it has to manifest into the physical. But the mental, you got to get a mental grasp, grasp on it first. Girl, see if they have to do they got brunch right now. Go ask them if they serving brunch because I want me some eggs, girl. If not, we're going to go right over here to what you call it. And my thing is, so you get to a space, it, 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 it would be a good thing, you know, like, if you moan young because honey you, you you become that woman you know that woman that you want to be that that woman that soft that pussy that uh bitch that the skin is so pussy face so pussy you so fish like you just fish bitch like yes i'm the ultimate fish bitch i'm the fish so you know during that time yes that would work out but what about going down the line? Listen, I had there was one point in my life that I wanted to have a, 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 a sexual reassignment surgery. I wanted to have. I, there was one time in life that I thought that you know I'm going to go head on and I'm going to have sexual reassignment surgery, you know, and it's on Sunday. Huh? It's on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, and then I got to a place where. I was like, girl, I don't want to have no sex change. <laughs> because I was influenced by other girls saying, girl, if you're going to be real pussy, girl, if you want to be real, bitch, you might as well go on and get the pussy. Then I met those some some of those sex changes. Brain fucked up. Man, no, it's, not, it's not all. So not, we, we we cannot make this up saying that this is not all. Some of them bitches is crazy. Baby, they went and got them motherfucking those reassignments, sir. They better they don't got that inversion and that mind went bananas. And it's just like, ooh. And then it got to be some kind of crazy shit. When you done went and got all this surgery, all this stuff, you done got this stuff to your to match your mind, your body to match your mind. Okay? And all this stuff that happened, and then you meet the love of your life, and the love of your life want to suck your dick. And you like, what? what? I have met some sex changes, God, I'm, and, I, and I'll never spill their names. I have met some sex changes who have, who have had that miserable thing happen to them, where the man is like, you know, I'm like, girl, you're passable. Yes, but when men like what they like, Hold on, let me lean close so y'all can hear me. 
when men like what they like, when men like what they like, they know what you are. And when they come in there seeking that, I just feel like that they got to be like if after a woman, after a trans woman has has a reassignment surgery and they're dating a man, and then it comes down to the whole thing when they want to have sex, you know, with the trans woman, and she doesn't have her unit anymore, and he's like, oh, y'all watched it on pose, y'all seen him do it on pose. The man was like, I'm good. That's what, bitch, that's what made you special. And when anybody, when women be, when women, those, those jaded women, I'm not talking about all women. I'm not talking about every woman. I'm, a, I'm talking about those jaded bitches. When those jaded women be carrying on to about, you want a pussy, you want a baby. No, bitch, I don't. I'm special, girl. I'm special. I'm just as special as you, mamas. You can push a baby out and I can't. <laughs> You can have a baby from your from your vagina. I cannot. And that's why a man likes us for those two reasons. He like you because what you can do, and he like me for what I can't. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, that's just the bottom line. He like me for what you he like you for what you can do, and he likes me for what I can't do. Hold on, Oliver boy. FaceTime me. We normally do it on Thursdays, but we had got tired of what's Yeah, we been. Miss Mary was here, so we couldn't. Yeah. yeah. Well, she wanted to spend time with Miss Mary. That's why we did it today. But it's normally on Thursdays. Thursday morning. Girl. She probably didn't mean to call you. Thursday early morning. But right, me, that's right, me. Hope. Men like trans women because they are well. Men like men men that like trans women like trans women because they are trans. Some men like trans women who have. Uh, hey. Hey, Myrtle, I didn't mean to call. Okay. No okay, bye. Some men like trans women because they they have their peace, and some men like trans women because they don't. Like you don't know what the attraction. You do not know what the attraction is. You have no idea why someone is attracted to another person. You don't know. You have no idea. Some men like fat women. Period. Because they fat. I've seen videos online where men love big women because they want them to sit on them and smother them. You don't know why people like people with it. Just let people have their own business. My, that's the, that's the, mind your motherfucking business. I keep telling y'all that all 2020, mind yours. Mind your business. Go ahead. That's it. Damn. This one, what, what, this, this, you can't do, you can't be here there every motherfucker well. They don't know why. So when baby like, or they like trans women because they gay, and they and anybody want them, no ladies, don't do that. No ladies, I know I love my ladies, and I love, and I will, I will fight foot to the ground about my women because it's women that win me up for me all day long, and I fucks with my girls. Period. But they also understand that it's they they have got the knowledge in their head that it's not about oh if a man like them if a man likes a trans he ain't gonna like me. Uh, that's not true, ma'am, because a man is attracted to he's attracted to the aesthetic. He's and if that if that trans woman is, has that aesthetic that he's looking for, he's he can be attracted to her and you, and still identify as a straight man. He may like you because he can fuck you in your coochie and give you a baby, and he may like me because he can fuck me in my ass and I can't have now one of them. Period. If we let's get let's get down to the simple logistics of the situation. You don't know why the person is attracted to the other person. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. 
That's just what it is. We see people with people that we find unattractive all the time. All the time that we find unattractive. Right. That we find unattractive. We've all been somewhere and been like, girl, where he with that ugly ass hoe for? Oh, girl, oh, that bitch ugly. Oh, ooh. He too cute for her. He too fine for her. He like her. He like her. your business why your nigga like you bitch because when you wake up in the morning you got your bitch don't 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 don't, don't you think nobody know you ugly up, up under that wig bitch <laughs> or you pull them three out those three layers of eyelashes off that man got to see you right or bitch even if you the prettiest bitch maybe your pussy stinks too you got older maybe your ass sour or or maybe you might be the finest nigga but your dick look you can't fuck your breath stink Bitch, you got stank feet for no reason. You don't understand why you got stank ass feet, but your feet stank. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody like you. Yep. There's somebody out there for everybody. Whether people know it or not, or whether you believe it or not. It's... You get. Well, no. I'm about to. I'm trying to see what this Tracy Wafer saying. I'm trying to see. I'm gonna look closely at her. I'm gonna, I'm watching her. Yes, I'm blocking people because what been what business I put out there is the business I put out there, which is me talking about Valentine's Day. Me talking about this. Talking Anything about else that I ain't open up my camera and put it to the public. I ain't, that ain't nothing I put out there. So therefore, I don't gotta discuss. You gotta talk to the bitches. They talk. They want to talk about what's going on in their life because that ain't got shit to do with me. Message ho. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with me. Nothing. I don't give a fuck if it's my name in it. It don't got shit to do with me. Cause what got to do with me and mine? We handling my house. Everything else, I don't give a fuck about. Message. So let's move on to Wendy. Now, Wendy. Girl. Okay. Before you say that, she did apologize. Wendy did apologize. I seen it. Wendy did. But what did she say? Because I seen everybody was talking about it, but I ain't really, you know, I really don't fuck with her like this. I ain't know what was going on. What she said? Well, <laughs> I understood what Wendy was saying. It was just the context of which she was, you know, Wendy sounded like. She sounded like the, the 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 girls that be on the. I'm just so tired of men dressing up like women and stay out of our skirts. Who the fuck is you to tell a bitch to stay out of a motherfucking skirt, nigga? You pea shaped ass bitch. How you gonna tell somebody to stay out of a skirt? No, bitch. You need to stay out of the skirt. Everybody, listen. <laughs> even though we she, cause I respect you as she, cause just what you are, as she. Yes, I may have given you a masculine name, but I, I respect you as she. But at the end of the day, bitch, everybody's been in question on what the fuck you is. Period. Oh, so she said that. Oh, yeah, she posted Everybody been in question about what you is. She her now, I do what? understand ladies feeling like this. Because let me, I'm going to play devil's, devil's advocate again. Dun, 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 dun. Go ahead. I do understand the distance, just because I understand it don't mean mm -hmm. that I'm giving it a pass. Right. I do understand ladies feeling like, damn, I've been a woman all my motherfucking life. All my life. I've been wearing skirts and dresses and, 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 and lipstick and hair. And hair these, this, here it is. Had these men come along thinking that they women and this and the other and they ain't no real woman. Like this, this is, the, this is, this is, this is, this is the context in which she's speaking. I don't give a fuck how she went to try to clean it up. Mm. But this is the context in which she's speaking. Uh, these men thinking that they women, I can't, damn, can I just have a woman's day? I just want a day with self. You have a woman's day every day, ma'am. You're a woman. <laughs> What's that, bitch? You're a woman. You have a woman's day every day. You are a woman. You are a woman. You know that you are a woman. Your womanhood, somebody else's womanhood should have no bearing or no effect on you. You putting on a dress and a skirt, Chi Chi, 
and identified as a boy, Santana putting on a dress or skirt with a beard, that don't got shit to do with me. No one. That don't got nothing to do with me. Nothing. That's why hoes get popped in the mouth. It ain't about them getting popped in the mouth, Chi We We grown. It's by understanding that the space that you occupy is yours. That's your space. Trans women are not coming to to take away the whole woman thing and take over from a woman and take away that a woman is a woman. Miss Thing, honey, y'all are the blueprint. <laughs> a woman is the blueprint. But we also can take away somebody's self-expression. We can't take away somebody's self-expression. And it quite as is kept, Wendy, Wendell, Bartholomew Orenthal. Skirts, jeans, pants, sweaters, colors. These things are social constructed to try to differentiate between male and female. This is a social construct. The color blue is socially constructed that that's supposed to be associated with boys. And the color pink is for girls. Why? 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 So now you've got it to, society has made it to where a man can't even wear a pink shirt unless he's a gay or he's a fag or he's this and the other. This is, this, this is a social, this stuff is socially constructive. And this is why anytime we come through as people that live outside of the rainbow, we live outside the rainbow and starts challenging the, the social norm, it becomes an issue. Oh, I just wish that I could just have a woman's day. Nobody stop you for having a woman's day, ma'am. You're a woman. You have your day every day. Every single day you have your day. You're a woman. You have your period. You have your menstrual cycle. You have your, you have your PMS. Whatever it is, you have your menopause. You have all of these things. This has not been taken away from you. This has not, none of this has been stripped from you. None of this. This person, this man wearing a dress has not been stripped from you. It has not. It has not taken away from your, your, your existence. It has not taken away from society. It has not taken anything away from you. Nothing. She's going to get us a table. It ain't took nothing away. So this is why people have to be, they have to think when they're speaking of the situation and, 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 and call out what it really is. You meant those words that you said, you, y'all, yeah, you get, but you, but let's not, let's not get it confused. You use the Queens to get to your platform. How you doing? How you doing? How you do? You've used the queens to get to your platform, girl. Then you want to come in. I'm so sorry. Sit up there with that frog face ass. Frog face, bug eyed ass. Sit up there. I'm just so sorry about the way that I've spoken about the LBGTQ. Girl, you ain't sorry. Stand on that shit. That's what you meant. You meant that. You meant every single word that you said in the CNN. <laughs> You mean every word? What they say? How long? Thirty. Thirty minutes. Yeah, we ain't saying for the thirty minutes, but I mean, we'll, we we gonna sit on live for thirty minutes. But no, but we we on the thing. That's why I went in there because I seen a lot of people traveling. In yes, ma'am. So let me go ahead. But it's just it's just crazy because no other person's existence. You got on heel, ma'am. Nobody. If 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 I got on a dress and a heel does not take away from you being a woman, and this is what women. This is what I feel like. Women need to get need to understand this. No trans woman or gay man is trying to take away from your womanhood because it's impossible, ma'am. You are a gen, you are genetically a, a female. Yep. Chromosomes, genetics. You are a female. A shoe, a dress, a lash, a ponytail, a handbag is that was worn by a man or a trans woman is not taken away from your identity. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. 
That's called insecurities. Message. That's like telling a bitch don't wear long hair because bitch my hair long. I was born with long hair. Don't put weave in your hair. I, when I was, my hair grew long, as, long to the ground. This my, this my hair. Don't put weave in there. You're making us with weave. Like God, I wish I could just have a day for girls, for women that have long hair. Bitch, that woman got long hair too. She just, it's just weave. <laughs> it ain't took nothing away from your growth of your hair. I don't, I just don't get it. Am I saying anything that ain't right? Am I, am, have I said anything that ain't right? No. That's the way I, that's, that's, that's the way that I, that's what I absorb from that. Mm. And I hear ladies saying this all the time. And I'm like, ladies, ma'am, women, nobody's taking away from your day. We got a, We got transgender day of, uh, of visibility. We got trans awareness week. We got all this stuff. We got this. I see uh, girls be over there. We got that. We got, you know, listen, here's the thing. I'm, I am, and, and don't get me, don't get me started because one thing about me, I'm not running around here saying that I'm a woman. I'm a trans woman. I like to put trans in front of it. Trans hyphen woman. I'm okay with that. I'm not offended by that. That don't make me angry. When you tell me that I'm not a woman, I'm not upset with that. That don't make me mad. <laughs> that that kind of shit. That's not a that's not a jab or a stab at me. You're not a woman. Okay. And you're not a trans woman. <laughs> okay. You don't have a pussy. I know. You'll never be able to give birth. Uh, okay. I know. I, I, if, but if I had sex with you, you'd have my baby. And it'd still be my baby. Uh, so I'm, I'm lost to what, what you're, I don't get it because at the end of the day, ma'am, I'm not here to erase you. And I think that this is what the issue is that people, that the, that the, the women think that our existence is an erasure of theirs is, is, is an eradication of theirs. And I think when they try to talk about this stuff with the uh, with the agenda, when they start saying that we got an agenda against women or we got an agenda, this is where they this is what's been calculated and built up in their mind that their womanhood is being challenged because you don't go through what I go through as a woman. I'm a woman. <laughs> no, you're a female. You're a female. You're a female. Woman is a social construct. You are a female. Female. Genetically. Female. So, you, <laughs> no one is challenging or trying to eradicate something that's impossible to get rid of. It's impossible to, to, to do that. And nobody's on the front line of scrimmage trying to, to take away. However, if Chi Chi decides tomorrow that in his spirit that he is a trans woman, <laughs> and we got a, we've added an additional trans woman to the, to the roster, women, you're not affected by that because no one can erase a woman from existence. It's impossible. It's impossible to do that. And that's not what they're trying. Now, when it comes down to those, to men, y'all got to stop it. Men are attracted to whatever the fuck they're attracted to. Period. Message. Men are attracted to what they are attracted to. It does not matter, girl. And when, 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 when they be screaming out, I got a real pussy and you ain't got no pussy and you want a pussy like me, sweetie, men ain't, fu men know that. <laughs> That shit, that shit kills me right there. Men, men know that. That's what they want to, that's what they doing. They know you got a pussy and they know I don't. Period. Message. They still gonna fuck. 
And not all of them, no. Today, me sitting here in this car, today, me sitting right here in this car, I'm saying to you all, okay? I'm saying to you all, I do not believe that all men are gay. I do not believe that all men are trans attracted. I do not believe that. That is not somewhere in my whole heartedness of things. But I do believe a man is a man. Hmm. And when you really break that down and understand mean, the context of the way I'm speaking on that shit, hmm. because a lot of times y'all girls done caught y'all niggas in some shit that y'all never, or caught y'all niggas with a bitch that y'all never thought that he'll fuck with. But you know why he did it? Because he's a motherfucking man. He's a man. Simple as that. I don't feel, I'm going to say it again for the records before I walk to go get me some eggs and grits. <laughs> I don't feel mm -hmm. that a man, all men are gay. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that all men are trans attracted. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that. That's not the way I feel. I don't, I wholeheartedly don't think that all men, but men are men. Men are men. And when you get that understanding, when you really sit down and you analyze the understanding, when you really put that shit in your brain and, 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 and wholeheartedly absorb and digest that shit, then you'd understand that at the end of the day, yes, Chicha, give me some lotion. They read my hands. Thank you, baby, for pointing that out. Get, get, get out there. Give me, get me my... Get, see what kind of lotion I got. Thank you, baby. I ain't even see my hands. Thank you, boo. You got lotion in here? Yeah, lotion in there. I keep lotions, perfumes, creams, butters, and sprays. Yes. Was it in my other pocketbook? This is in your other pocketbook. This little. Yeah, give me the little lotion. This is your little part. Ain't no lotion in here, sweetie. Ain't none. Hold on. Okay. Thank you, baby. I know y'all was reading me, but bitch, I ain't see them. I was so deep in my conversation. Ain't no lotion in here. Girl, ain't no lotion in there. Baby, you got your Billy Club. Put this, put, put, look at the zipper part. It's in I my did. other pocket That's your, your contacts in there. Ain't no lotion in here. No. no in here. Damn. Damn. Well, I guess they're going to have to get these ashy moose knuckles. Oh, bitch, it's sick. Is lotion in that part? No, it's, I'm just saying it's sickening over here. For my new pocketbook? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put a knife, a bat, a gun. Yeah, it is a knife, a bat, and a gun in there. <laughs> well, you ain't got no lotion here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, listen, it won't be no lotions right now. <laughs> won't curl right now. <laughs> won't be no lotion right now, baby, because I ain't got none. I ain't even see that. My hand is ashy than a motherfucker. Look at this here. God damn, I was going to get my nails done. Anyway, but like I said, like I said, child. You got something? You got a, you got none of your part in my damn. Oh, ain't none in here. Nope. What's in my other car? Girl. Bitch, you don't even know what's in there. Ain't Bitch, I'm just not seeing it. I'm going to get my nails done, bitch. And ain't got no lotion. I want to think about that. I thought shit lit. Listen, little Kim Hoy then was finna put lotions on my hand. Sure was. <laughs> Lady Kim. So young. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so I guess that's it. That's what I wanted to talk about real quick before I got into, uh, before I went and got me something to eat or whatever. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Bridget is packing. Do we want to eat here? Yeah, you want this? Do you? Because, bitch, I need to go somewhere. I need to eat, I need to eat now. Bitch, it's 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I need to eat now, girl. Shit, we got to get our nails and shit done. I got other stuff to do today. I got stuff to prepare for, girl. Turn this thing on. I got to get damn touch-ups to the damn house. You turn that on? Yeah. Tell you, I was, I was waiting on look. I, I was waiting on Kim Hoy them. You
It's on. Girl, this what's wrong with this cord now? Now she, you know, don't do this. Oh, it's dead gone. Mm -hmm. You want in here or we wanna go bitch, I wanna pull up and go in. I mean, but it ain't been 30 minutes now. Girl, but you see all this stuff we gonna have to fight around. Ooh. Echo. You sure? Who is this? Girl, what is that? You can back up. Mm -mm. She doing the wrong shit. Daddy got a little pimp walk on it though. That body bad, but that dick might be big though. You know, they always say that. Girl. Ooh. But look, let's look. Look at this. It might be side, it might be side bitch day. I don't know what this is after Valentine's. Side bitch day. You know, they be with the real bitch on Valentine's Day, then it's side bitch Saturday. The day after Valentine's Day. For the side bitch. Mm. I'm gonna take my hoe. I took my hoe. Thank you, Don. But I'm taking you today. Mm. Yeah, today is side bitch. Side bitch Saturday. Oh. So what you feeling? You feeling breakfast? I was feeling breakfast. When you said grits, you know, I'm a breakfast girl. What well, you feeling this? I don't want to go to our house, bitch. Right. I dare should, now, I did dream about Waffle House last night. I dreamed about them eggs, but I don't want to go in there. They be do too much fighting and stuff in there. <laughs> every, girl, every, every Waffle House girl. I'm like, girl. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. I guess you want to wait? Right. I guess, girl. Go check and see what they say, what, what it's looking like. I just walked in in like 10 minutes. For, it, ain't it, it ain't been 30 minutes? <laughs> it's um, only been five. Maybe 10. That shit, yeah. You don't want to, you, what, you, what you get, some catfish? Yes. Um, catfish. Catfish. Yes. Let me call Oliver back. I'm, I love my Oliver. Oh, I love my daughter. You know, out of all my girls, I love my Oliver. I love my Chi Chi. I love my Rob. Even though Rob been on hiatus, I love my Rob. Mm -hmm. I love my children. Thank you for saying that. I do. I love my kids. I love all my children. Girl, please. Yes, ma'am. Oliver, I just wanted to call you and tell you I love you while I'm live. I just love you. Oh, I love you too, girl. I love you. And thank you for calling me this morning and telling me about that situation, girl, honey, about the other channel. Did y'all get the paperwork together for that year? We started doing it. You had to go watch this pussy. Oh, tell everybody out there on live. Hey, Oliver. Hey, everybody. Yes, <laughs> say hi. Sister. Hey, everybody. Ooh, I was about to cook something, but I won't. Don't do that. <laughs> well, text me, girl. You can text me, girl. Let me call Craig and see what uh, he's doing. Okay. Bye. <laughs> I called her yesterday. She ain't answered my phone. Ooh, I, I need to. Let me go. This old doing. She ain't calling me that easy. Girl, that was a tad ass on. Hey, Kevin. Girl, she might be at the gym. Ankles, where you at, girl? Sweet delicate. Ankles, where you at? Sweet delicate. Ankles. Ankles, where you at? Sweet delicate. Ankles, where you at? Sweet delicate. Ankles, where you at? Sweet delicate. Girl, Miss Ankles, girl, she acting. She probably on her live right now. I need to, I need to go in her live room and hey, tell man? her up, girl. Her she probably, she up. probably with her man because it was Valentine's Day. All oh, right. That's what it is. It, it was Valentine's Day. Her man might be here. Let me see. Let me see what your man. I'm finna taste her and say, bitch, your man here. Bitch is your man here. Bitch is your man here. Is your man here? Mm hmm. Baby, them hoes coming in there. Don't BBH. Girl, look. Bitch, this place is packed, Chi Chi. Where you gonna pull it? Where you going then? Bitch, I want some pancakes. But I don't, definitely don't want no other. I like their pancakes, girl. I can eat one pancake from here. Oh, we can go to Nana's. But, bitch, bitch that. You, oh. oh, you know that's the hole in the bitch. You know it's well over there. <sighs> bitch, Nana's last so long, girl. You said, what happened at the old lady game? Yeah, somebody got, there was three shots last night. Bitch, get the story. <laughs> it was three shots Bitch, what night. is going on down? They found out what's in them greens. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, they say it was a shooting at the old lady gang. Girl, they found out what's in the oh, green. Oh, girl, her, Ooh, man must be her man must be there. Girl, what is going on, girl? Her man. Ooh. Ooh. Girl, what your, your, what's to your man over there? Let me speak to him. Ooh. Ooh. 
Grub is crazy. Man must be over there, girl. No wonder why you for that hoe in a couple of days. Ah, I, she, I talked to that hoe. She sucked me something this morning. She actually sucked me that damn um, this? Wendy Williams shit. Oh, uh, that's yeah. why she sucked me that bullshit, shit, girl. But girl, did you talk to her physically? Mm -hmm. oh. I did. On the phone or FaceTime? Mm -hmm. I FaceTime her. Oh. Girl, honey, you know, Miss Anchors, honey, you know. Miss Anchors, girl. Billy K. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what going on, cause this um, oh, y'all say three people were shot at the restaurant? At the re three? <laughs> they were shot at the restaurant? My God, for real, bitch! I got to read to see what. Bitch, you know that's the old lady game. What you thought? Well, it was old ladies in there scrapping, and the bitch put out their pistol on their titties. Bitch. You know, that's the old, that's the old, that's the old lady game. Bitch. OLG game. Gang, gang, bitch. Uh, bitch. You ever ate that? Mm -mm. I just know what they put in them greens. I want to go to the the uh, the, the the frost breeze throw. Her and Rashida little thing. They say it's cute. Oh! Girl, CJ said that dry macaroni started the fight. No, the macaroni be dry. <laughs> now, listen. Now, since y'all spinning tea, I did hear that some of the food at the old lady got <laughs> by soda, bitch. Trash. But it don't be the ladies cooking it. It be the people that they gave the recipe to. Y'all need to get some business in there know how to cook. Period. But I did hear that. Girl, Dio Sanchez said Craig is such a beautiful Dutch woman. <laughs> yes, ma'am. The Dutch woman she is. Oh, my God. So they shot one person and two. Oh, there she go. You see, I told you. Look at hey, look. They said, Craig, that you such a beautiful. They said that you a beautiful Dutch woman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, niece. Uh, aren't you on a contest? Craig, what you doing up under the cover still? Girl, what is you doing up under the cover still? Your man there. Let me speak to him. Let me speak to your man. Cause girl, I called you yesterday and I called you today, girl. What happened? What let me speak to your man, girl. Huh? Let me let me speak uh -huh. to your man, Greg. Let me speak to him. We're here in the bathroom, girl. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm single. Oh, you what? Oh. You what? Now you was just doing that Anita Baker caught up in a rapture, girl. Craig, you was just over there saying I apologize, girl, about Anita Baker. <laughs> oh, believe me, I do. <laughs> Yo, Craig, what is you up on the covers for like that? You got your booty ate last night. Did you still did you still resting like that? Girl, y'all see Craig under the cover. Did y'all see Craig up under the cover? I was trying to take a nap. Girl, what you do? You don't work. You don't work for you. You don't work for me. So you don't work. Oh yeah, Craig. Um, child, I wanted to get something to eat, but I. I'm definitely, I'm definitely not coming down there to the city. Uh-uh, bitch. What you mean you're not coming to the city? I ain't coming down there to the city. But we need to link up. We got to get that paperwork together, Myrtle. I know. That's why I was, I was going to call you earlier. But you sitting here running your jibs on FaceTime. Girl, I'm talking about... Well, well, listen, can, it was Valentine's Day. Can we get it? Can, they say, Craig, put your ankles in the air, girl. Ah! Ah! Reveal. 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 Oh, they, somebody said, who behind him? Ain't nobody in here. Yeah. Ain't nobody in here but me. Yeah. He loves me. Oh. He's special. <laughs> Girl, they said you was playing Jill Scott all night long. La, 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 la. Girl, oh, they say you reminiscing, Craig. I know my ankles, my knuckles, ass shit, bitch. I know this already. I just had a whole discussion about my, my, my knuckles. Oh, it's time. It's time. Oh, girl, we finna go ahead and get our plate. But yeah, Craig, I'll call you in a sec. Child, honey, over this, over here. It's time. Where y'all eating? At your spire. Is Miss Mary here? No, Miss Mary left. She came in. She left. She, she went to my brother, um, my brother's daddy's funeral. I think I saw a head pop up. Ain't nobody behind me. Girl, who head is that? 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 Who head
Craig, who that is, Craig? Girl, who is it, Craig? Craig, yeah. who that is? Hmm. Who is it? Investigate, Chi Chi. Who is that? Craig, who he in the closet? He hiding in the closet, girl. Girl, they all trapped. The, the gag is they all trapped in the closet. But bitch, why you answering my shades on? Girl, my knuckles is ashy. Girl, look. Ooh, they, they ashy, girl. I was gonna let Ming them, Ming Hoy them. My knuckles might be ashy, bitch, but my face pretty and my body is motherfucking thick as fuck. So ain't now nigga worrying about no ashy knuckles, bitch. Believe that. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. Ain't now nigga worry about no ashy knuckles, bitch. As long as this, but I lay this face down on his ass, bitch. And tell him I'm going home to meet his mama, bitch. Have my flowers together and chain candy. <laughs> if you think my ass, my ankles ashy, my 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 my, my my knuckles ass you, bitch, you got to see these ankles. You know, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, I knew it. All right, y'all. I'll call y'all later on. I love y'all, bitch. Here. Yeah. And I'll talk with y'all later on. All right.